Hey, Mad Money fans, check the bottom of your screen for an exclusive offer next. I am concerned uh, there's going to be a, there's a whole new tariff situation. We've been talking about tariffs with you guys forever because we both know that if we do not prevent cheap steel, particularly from China, coming to this country, then we're not going to be able to have a defense that's even capable of defending whether it be uh, Ukraine, whether it be, whether it be uh, uh, Taiwan. So how do we feel about with the 25 percent tariff on steel imports trying to make it so that our allies aren't hurt? and still keep back the Chinese steel, which historically has been very difficult to do because the Chinese find other ways to dump into our country. Yeah, look, that is a, a condition we're going to continue to advocate for. Again, it began long before uh, I and with Dan D'Amico and John Furriola before I. Um, we've got to continue to advocate. The oversupply in the, in the world, particularly out of China, is significant. You know, five, six years ago, we only had about 50 cases of carbon steel one in the United States. Today, that's over 150. So we've got to continue to, to advocate for our industry. Um, Secretary Romando, who you know well, yep. understands our industry. Our USTR and, and Catherine Tai really understands their leadership in understanding this industry and not um, protecting free trade, but fair trade, because it's not just cheap steel. It's illegally subsidized and dumb steel that, uh, that, that really harms the industry in this nation. Don't miss a second of Mad Money. Follow at Jim Kramer on Twitter. Have a question? Tweet Kramer. Hashtag Mad Tweets. Send Jim an email to madmoney at CNBC.com or give us a call at 1 800 743 CNBC. Miss something? Head to madmoney.cnbc.com.